sleepy. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely, so, I agree with you. Yeah. And uh, firstly, and I think uh, mostly, I think that day we were talking to Anil also. The biggest mistake is uh, we Indian professionals mostly don't want to go for branding. We don't understand its, uh, you know, benefit, not power. I would say the benefit. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I think it's more about consistency than, uh, hmm. uh, than you know, going over the top or it can be a cheaper yes. brand as well. But it's just about consistency. Like in McDonald's, very a classic true. example. It doesn't need to be a billion, a, a, you know, very expensive burger or anything. But it's just true. about consistency, and that's what becomes your uh, brand value. No, well, exactly. That's what I keep on, you know, when I give those formal lectures or formal sessions. I keep on saying that every day you don't have to do something new. You do the same yeah. thing every day in some new format so that you are interesting enough. Correct. So don't try to experiment with too many things. I agree 100%. That's Who you are, that's perfect. That's the best brand you can have. Yeah. Uh, hi, Riyaz and Vijaya and Kuti. Welcome back. Good to see you. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Hey. Good morning, Riyas. Money for 47. I think let's start, right? Yeah, I don't know where uh, is Gaurav uh, yeah. expected, or I tried to call him. I mean, I tried to reach him. Okay. Maybe he's had a late night as well. Let's give him 45, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should we start off then? Do we yeah, have a business presentation today? Funny? No, 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 no presentation today. There's no business, huh? No. no. How many of you guys go for a walk in the morning? Walk in the morning? I do sleepwalking in the bed. <laughs> I did a two-hour today. So I'm feeling very happy, tired, whatever you can say, but good feeling. Energized. Good. But you look you look uh, very, very charged. Oh, I'm yes. always charged. Uh, Absolutely. Anyone knows me, anyone knows me, and this is, you know. Uh, infectious, infectious disease. I charge people around me. That's that's really good. That, that energy is always there. And fortunately for me, my computer got repaired. So let me switch computers with a virtual background so that you can see some decent stuff there. So actually, I was watching a movie till late night, till 2 o'clock. Mm. Ah. It's a beautiful, beautiful movie. Uh, uh, the boy who harnesses the wind. It's a Malawian movie. It's it's about uh, the boy has put all the energy on the windmills. Very nice movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on Netflix, no? I've seen that. Netflix, yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah. I think some of the programs on Netflix is amazing. Oh, amazing! Some programs are too good. Yeah. Okay then. So let's get started. <coughs> so welcome now again to uh, Entrepreneur Connect. And it's a pleasure to have all of you in every Saturday and every week. This is a platform where we entrepreneurs connect and come together and where we all exchange uh, contacts, referrals, connections that we have and we help each other to build our own networks and our own uh, uh, you know, businesses because everything thrives on connections and everything thrives on networks. So, and also what we do often when we have time and the schedule allows is either we have a business that gets presented uh, because of our regular partners and our regular attendees will have a business presentation that they can do in five minutes. We also have our guest speaker and I want to welcome Ms. Bidhi, uh, who's a branding expert and she's going to inspire us and educate us on the small tips and tricks that we can all apply in our own personal lives into our own businesses and see how we can all take ourselves to the next level get and position ourselves better into this world and we're also going to have a business challenge that we will discuss and uh, share so if any of you want to take a point of your own businesses that you want to have the rest of the group uh, discuss and give you tips and inputs if you're facing any particular challenge or any particular problem if you're feeling stuck in your current business um, then we can have that as a discussion where we will um, you can raise it, you explain us a little bit about your business 
and you can raise it as a point of where people can come and give you feedback or suggestions about something that they've tried on their own and what's worked for them. So that can be a challenge uh, segment that we will do at the end as well. So let's all get started. Um, Anil, do you think we should start with the challenge session or should we uh, start with the reference? Uh, let's, let's start with the reference first. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, so now how the reference work is you say your name, you say the name of your company, and then you say what sort of connection or contact you're looking for, which can help you take your business to the next step. Okay, so let's start with, so anybody's name can come first, but usually we try to have some uh, regular people first. Vijay and Kuti, would you like to start? Yeah. Your business. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I am uh, Vijayan Kuti. I, I represent the company uh, called the GCQ certification. We are into certification business for ISO 9000, 14000, 45000 and food safety and all. Uh, we are looking for uh, uh, definitely the connection with the uh, higher level uh, and the decision makers in the organization who wish to go for the certification. So anyone uh, who is looking for a certification, uh, I would like to connect with them. Okay, great. So Bajan Kuti is into uh, ISO certification for company, which can be for food controls and food and safety and quality standards assurance. Um, so he's looking for C level executives, so business owners, the top level people in every organization that could consider having brand standards and certification standards for themselves. Does anyone know any businesses that you could recommend to Vijayan Kuti? Okay. Let, uh, know? Yeah. Vijay sir, let's meet this week, okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll meet this week for sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, great. How's it been, Vijayan, uh, uh, Mr. Vijayankuti, from the past uh, weeks that you've been attending? Have you had any breakthroughs? Have you connected with uh, anybody? Uh, and uh, get some new references or did you follow up or were you able to follow up or were you not able to sort of connect? Which, no, which, the last from the last week, no. Okay, and earlier, have you managed yeah, to connect yeah. and, uh, get some? I managed to, I managed to connect few, but uh, it didn't materialize uh, until now. Yes. Okay, but then discussions are going on and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Okay, um, great. So um, what we'll do is one of the days is uh, we'll try and improve our uh, pitches, you know, the way we explain our business and stuff so that we can, we'll do a little education session. If Bharat wants to lead that, he can, uh, about an elevator pitch, uh, uh, about how you uh, educate and communicate about your business and stuff. So we can talk about how exactly to uh, speak about our business. So. He is a quality assurance and ISO uh, expert. And you know, we have a scripted way of saying it, Vijayan. Because if you want to work with us, we help you improve that. Okay. Does anyone else have any C level contact other than Adi for Vijayan Kuti? C level contact means? Uh, C level, like uh, he does the ISO certification. So he's looking for CEOs and business owners. Who can help? Uh, who can improve quality standards for their own company? Okay. Okay. Fine. So let's go to Bharat. Would you like to introduce yourself next? There are quite a few new faces here. Yeah. Uh, Naina is. I think Naina was always there before. Uh, branding. Ridhi. How do you how do you pronounce that? Oh, you're on mute. It's ready. So, Bharat, uh, you should uh, talk about the name of your company, say what they do, and what's the ask for the week. Okay. So, uh, is share screen possible so I don't have to speak? Um, it should be like 30 seconds, but uh, how okay. long is it? Oh, oh, let it be. 
Uh, no, the slide is while I talk. Uh, it will okay, fine. Share time. screen because I think we have. Uh, uh, so someone does it first so that I open the sheet. Otherwise, it will okay, be share there. the screen. Okay, go ahead. Do it. So someone can take the chance first, and then I come back. Okay, fine. All right. Okay, done. Uh, let's have Riaz. Riaz, would you like to introduce your business? Hello. Good morning. Uh, yes, uh, I am not at all entrepreneur. I am just working in a medical device industry. Uh, I just started my career two and a half years before. Currently, I am handling medical device industry, uh, taking care of heart failure patients. A product called as Elbat, responsible of South India. So my passion is to start something on my own, and I think this is the right platform where I can get so much of learning. Because uh, I am doing my I am course also in terms of sales and marketing, but uh, this one session will be giving me a good amount of inputs where i can improve on my entrepreneurship skills also in terms of elevate my sales so that's the reason i'm continuous in terms of attending this session thank you all that's lovely so uh, riyaz we want to wish you first the best of luck uh, with all your education and i think you're on the right track because education always comes first and you're working with work uh, with learning so that's amazing is there anything you want uh, in particular for this week Maybe something that you're learning where you want some inputs or any uh, any ask from our group and our expert uh, people here. People here. No, Alicia. As of now, no. If, if in okay, case anything, okay. I'll definitely pitch. Yep. Excellent. So do you keep do you do keep coming, and um, you can think about how you want to introduce yourself and a little scripted way of doing it, so that everything nothing is missed out. Uh, in terms of what you are and what you bring to the table, so that you know sure. anything can open up every time. So that's one part Next of. Next time I'll do it. Sure, thank you. Okay, okay, great. Um, uh, Anil, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure, definitely. Thank you, Olivia. Uh, my name is Anil. Anil Thomas, originally from India, uh, living in Dubai for a very long time, almost th uh, two decades in Dubai, and uh, I'm an engineer by profession. Currently, I am looking after. Uh, Brain City operation. Brain City is an online education platform. We are new into the market, but uh, definitely we already created the impact in the market, I believe. And uh, my ask for today, like we have a, a masterclass happening at 7 p.m. Uh, immediately after the e-bookery. That's a masterclass on authoring, secrets of authoring. Like if in case if you want to write a book, we're going to teach you how to write a book with the help of Brain City. So this is including uh, writing, publishing, the whole thing about the authoring. So that is my specific ask for this week. Otherwise, I'm currently I'm in a good space. I'm enjoying the, the trip with the Brain City, Alifia, Entrepreneurs Connect. A lot of learnings and thank you very much. Awesome, lovely. So everyone do please use the chat to share uh, uh, you know, any connections or any uh, details about your businesses. And also, uh, Anil, if you can send them the, uh, the WhatsApp group yeah, for our yeah. Entrepreneurs Connect, where you can openly publicize your uh, products and your, your industries that you do. And the rest of our network is uh, very happy to learn from you. So yeah, Anil is Brain City. Uh, they are an online training platform. They offer some free masterclasses often. And then they give you an opportunity to uh, enroll yourself and learn more from them if you think that's something where you're heading in your career and in your life. So continuous learning is the key. So um, uh, today, 7 p.m., does anyone want to learn how to write or write a book or publishing or content? Content is king nowadays. So one more thing about referrals, how it works is you may want it yourself or you may have a, know someone else who could benefit from that as well. Or you may know someone in your network who could be more relevant to be and participate in such a thing. So you can even raise your hand if you think you know someone who would benefit or who's been trying to want, write a book or anything. So does anything, anyone uh, have a reference for Ani who could benefit from writing skills to write a book? Is 7 p.m. would be Dubai time? 7 p.m. Uh, Dubai yeah, yeah, Yes. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can join you. I will, I will send you a link already. Really if there is a recording available, I would see because last night also I slept at four o'clock. I cannot stay the night. No, sir. The thing is, it is eleven p.m. Masterclass. We don't record it because it's uh, uh, ethically. No, no. Then I will wait for a better time or better better chance. Okay. Definitely. 
So they record it, but they don't share it with you. We don't. We don't. <laughs> No, then you can play it for uh, a daytime. Someone can just start it and play it on a Zoom link. Because for for us, eleven o'clock is a little too much. I know. Yeah, you're ahead of us. Yes. Okay, brilliant. So um, yeah, so uh, writing I a book know. is the best way to brand uh, yourself, and uh, I think uh, so. Yes, definitely. So. Does anyone else know anyone who needs to write a book or want to learn more about how to write content, maybe on a blog or in your social media channels or anywhere on your websites or anything, anywhere, even on emails? Um, does anyone want to connect with Anil or let get to know the uh, the person who is doing that content? Yes, we are just going to connect as well. Anil, Anil, I'll I'll connect with Anil on one to one yes, some yes. other time, but not on this event. Okay, so Bharat, Riddhi, Riyaz have all volunteered. If and if you know anyone in your uh, network who would benefit from this skill, do please uh, extend and share uh, uh, it with others. Okay, um, Kishore and Samir, welcome to the group. Would you like to introduce your business and see if you want a connection from our network? Kishore, are you there? Kishore Kumar, it's very nice sending you. Knock, knock. Kishore, are you there? Samir, are you there with us? Hi, everyone. Hi, Samir. Would you like to introduce your uh, business uh, and um, see if you want any connections from our network? Sure. Um, so I'm Samir Govinda, and uh, I'm primarily based in Dubai. And uh, I run a limousine company, a global limousine company. Um, both offices in London, Riyadh, and Dubai at the moment. Nice to meet you all. Good morning. The so leasing as in uh, rent uh, property? No, no, I'm saying a limousine company, limo, a chauffeur drives. Limousine, wow, okay, amazing. Lemo. You're a limousine company, okay, I almost heard leasing company. So no, 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 no Dubai, limo. London, and? Riyadh. And Riyadh, nice. Okay, so uh, any connections that you're looking to scale and grow in whatever you're doing? Because some of us may have. Uh, so if you ask what you who you're trying to connect with or anything, maybe sure. someone will give you a reference which you could use during the week. Sure, um, we work with a lot of travel agents from around okay. the world. Um, so travel agents are ideal customers, um, event companies. And uh, multinational MNCs, basically corporate. We do a lot of corporate work as well. So you know, corporate uh, clients, especially banks that travel on roadshows and financial roadshows. So those okay, are the okay. ideal, ideal clients. Okay, brilliant. So does anyone uh, uh, have any contacts in travel agents or any event companies or any... Which department do you normally uh, talk to in a multinational or a bank or a corporate? Uh, the PA to the directors. Okay, the personal assistants, huh? Okay. So he's looking for personal assistance uh, contacts to the CEOs and to the business owners. Nice. Does anyone have a contact you could share with uh, Samir? Or know anybody that you could... Uh, reference or uh, connect him to you may not be wanting to use limousines for your own company but you may know companies that could benefit or event companies that could benefit from this services any references for Samir anyone can for now uh, for now maybe no but I want to personally travel in limousine every time I go out the out of the house <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Samir, is it your own company or are you working with them? No, no, no. It's my own company. And um, Neil, don't get too excited <laughs> because once you get in, um, you never want to travel uh, in any other vehicle and that becomes expensive then. <laughs> I was just actually yesterday with a friend uh, and they work with a big corporate and they usually prefer rent a cars rather than uh, buying their own car. And actually yeah. when you did the math, it was... It was more common sense, obvious, better commercial to have a rent a car instead of buying your own car. 
in Dubai for yeah. these guys. Yeah, true, of course. Okay. Interesting. Great, thank you for sharing, Samir, and we welcome you. Uh, how did you hear about the Ent Entrepreneur Connect? Did you get um, reference? I'm on the WhatsApp group. Um, I just received, I think, uh, your link okay. to say you're live. Okay. And um, I just got up now. So <laughs> I joined in straight away. And Bang that's on. why my camera is off. I'm trying to brush my teeth and attend this meeting at the same time and do everything as well. well Samir, it's good to, be, good to be on video if, uh, if the background allows you. No, no, he's just woken up, Anil. So we, we heard okay. that right. <laughs> But we meet every Saturday at 7.30 to 9, where we just exchange okay. leads and connections. And usually we have a lot more. But yeah, we have speakers for the day. And then when people come regularly, they get to mm -hmm. present their business as well. So like for five minutes. Sure, sure, sure. Anything I can help the group with? I mean, um, or, we or, you know, we multinationals companies we work with, we work with travel agents. I mean, the same ask that I've asked is the same clients we have already. So if anybody okay. needs anything in those you know, kind of uh, companies, then, you know, I have those connects. Oh, brilliant. So, yeah, so we'll stay attuned. And when someone will ask her, so we did have Vijayan Kuti that you missed uh, because he introduced himself. He's into ISO certification and uh, he does uh, ISO 14,000. And, you know, so he normally likes to connect with C-level uh, executives who could uh, reference uh, ISO uh, who would want to get quality standards for their own company. Quality standards and assurances can be more complicated than you can imagine. Uh, I personally worked on them as well uh, for Dubai Quality Assurance Awards and stuff. Oh my God, it's very complicated. So having an expert help is always very great for that. But yeah, I would let you connect uh, Vijay and Kuti if you want to connect with Samir later. Uh, you can, uh, you should ideally. Let me move on. Uh, Kishore, are you with us yet? Kishore Kumar? Okay. Um, uh, all right. Uh, Jay, Jay Gupta, are you there with us? Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay. Yeah, I am like, nobody knows whose name can be called, so you have to be alert all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jay, would you like to introduce yourself and your company and see if you want a contact or connection from our group? We are a group where we exchange references and connections where everyone can take it and move forward for the oh, my, Myself, Jay Gupta, I belong from Lucknow, India. And okay. I am working as a senior sales engineer in Hansel uh, Electric India Private Limited. This is the German company. Deals in the enclosure uh, part. Basically, our products are weatherproof for IP rated enclosure. So you, you're working for a health company or for an IT enclosure? Uh, uh, I am working in Hensel Electric India Private Limited. Okay, Health and Electric. Okay. Okay. So, um, what do you do? Basically, uh, my role of business is that uh, to develop uh, business promotion activities and uh, uh, generate the man dealer management, basically, channel sales. Okay, lovely. So, this is for all of us. Uh, just a small tip. Sometimes we are in the industry and we know exactly what it is, but we tend to talk to a common group with a lot of jargon. So you assume people know exactly what you're talking, but uh, we may, may not, uh, everybody may not. So if you want really help from people, it's important to commonalize and you talk in layman language so people really understand what's the outcome and result of what you're bringing to the table so that you know we can uh, help you where we can. So, Jay, are you looking for any particular contact or reference? Most of us are from Dubai. We have one from Hong Kong. Uh, and we have um, anyone from India today? So yeah, we usually have... I think none Any particular contact you want us to help your sales journey? Jay? No, no, no. I have not contacted at yet, uh, but I am trying to uh, learn the skill, how to develop my sales. Okay, brilliant. I invite you to join us every Saturday. We meet 7.30 to 9 Dubai time, which is 9 o'clock to 10.30 India time. So join us every Saturday. You'll get the feel of what we do and you'll be able to improve and understand how to pitch yourself better. Yeah, I'm sure. Lovely. All right, great. Murugisa, welcome back. Good to see you back. Uh, would you want to go ahead and give your uh, introduction? 
I say his name wrongly. Sorry about that. You're on mute, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. Presently, I'm the honorary uh, retired, retired engineer. I'm the honorary secretary of the Institution of Engineer, Osur Local Center. I'm connected with uh, many industries, industry association. That's all. I okay. want to help you. Do you want to help you? So, um, if anybody needs help in the mechanical industry, Mr. Nehruvisa is here to offer his services. Uh, he's based out of India. Anyone that you want to connect with, Murugisa? Maybe, maybe, uh, 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 sir, you can actually help us by bringing more of uh, entrepreneurs onto our platform, being a, a secretary to Mechanical Engineer Foundation there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, Ali, Alifia, I would like to uh, have a one-to-one -one with uh, Mr. Murugisan. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Because, yeah, okay, so Murugita, uh, Ms. Vijayan Kuti is going to connect with you. Um, and please uh, share your con contacts and connections in the chat. Use, abuse it and use it to promote and market yourself. Uh, but also, I invite you all to come into the Entrepreneur Connect WhatsApp group, which is for members only, where all of us keep sharing our updates and we uh, keep exchanging uh, information about our company. So that someone else will understand what you do and share a contact that you may use for your own business. Uh, Nayana, would you like to introduce yourself there? Nayana. Yeah, sure. Hello, everybody. Good morning. And Good morning. Uh, every week I come up with one course to share with you all. So this time I have a course which is launching in 1st of April. After the success of Mastermind Transformation Program for Adults, we are coming up with a program for children. As you know, vacation is around the corner and they'll be very busy spending time with the, the, their own devices and wasting uh -huh. time. But this time they'll be having Zoom session online and they will be having a lot of activities included with mindfulness. So Mastermind, the concept per se, it's developing new habits, creating a new self, so we'll be introducing more to mindfulness, meditation, gratitude building, and how to give back to society. That will be the usual rituals we'll be doing. Other than that, there are other topics like emotional intelligence, digital thinking, uh, growth mindset. So the program is based for, program is designed in such a way that it is for 30 days. After that initial foundation, you reach out for the six months, and after the six months, you re, you're going to the one-year program. So it's kind of a mini graduation of mastermind program we are planning. And uh, we have some free sessions planned. If you get in touch with me, I will also share the WhatsApp group to join. We're starting it on 1st of April. This is for the children aged 7 to 18. Wow. Brilliant. Uh, I think uh, it's man, 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 just a correction there. Uh, 7 to 20. Okay. Not 18. 7 to 20. 20, yeah. So, sorry for that, yeah. Wow, brilliant. So, uh, I think we, most of us always complain that uh, we got into the entrepreneur race very late in our life. And we hope all of us don't have to have another KFC story when you start off at 70 years of age. So, let's get all our kids uh, and our children uh, into the right uh, mentorship and call it mastermind. Uh, but I think it's a beautiful initiative and it starts from tw seven to 20. So if does any of you have kids or know anybody who has a child, then connect them to Nayana. Uh, so who wants to, and she's gonna share her details into the chat. Please do uh, send this and share it with everybody in your network. Anybody who has a kids, I think the best education, you, the best investment you can give to your children is the right education. And normally we don't have access to the right things. Uh, so does anyone want to have, uh, want to put your heads, hands up to say, yes, you're going to have is your children. Is it online or on-site? Online. Is it online or on-site? Online, online. It's online and we have international trainers and the online gives us an opportunity to bring in trainers from US, Singapore, of course, from Asia. And we are picking in 
you know how Anil sir is, he's picking trainers specific to their uh, segments. Like if it is mindfulness, she is the doctor, PhD, blah, blah, blah in mindfulness. Perfect. We are doing growth mindset. We have authors who have written books related to growth mindset. So we have a wonderful group of trainers. Nana, what time is it? Because uh, Bharat is in Hong Kong and we are in a time difference of plus four. Oh, yes. Uh, we have a trainer from Singapore as well. I think that is taken care. So, so what time are these masterminds? For kids? No, no, children program. I have, Vipin has two daughters in, in, okay, in Okay, so I'm going to put Bharat's name. He's going to reference his uh, brother-in-law to join the program for his two daughters. Not my brother-in-law, his children. And they have independent minds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. His brother-in-law's children, right? That's... <laughs> But I've been is still uh, a youth at heart, huh? I mean, he may have uh, become an adult with uh, kids, uh, but all of us are, right? <laughs> okay, lovely. Does anyone else want to have their children joining the program? Would you want to raise a hand or know parents who would benefit by putting their children in a program that is so powerful? Anyone else want to raise a hand? Want to connect? She's going to anyway share her links and do please uh, send it to uh, everyone you know. Uh, I'm going to have Bharat next introducing himself with his PowerPoint. But before that, uh, Taki, welcome in. Uh, would you like, uh, Taki, are you there? Okay, I don't think so. Okay, great. So I'll quickly introduce, um, uh, okay, Bharat, go ahead. Just have your okay. uh, presentation for the day. You can share. Okay, so is my screen visible? Yes, it is. Uh, A quick... Uh, yes, few minutes. You can see I have multiple companies, but today I will not be talking about any of these. Today I have a specific ask and the ask is if anyone is connected to any FBA for Amazon or warehouse in uh, in Dubai, do touch base with me. One of my clients is looking for uh, shipping to Amazon. Uh, he is a white label supplier to Amazon in India and they are uh, looking to promote, uh, uh, sell by Amazon in Dubai. That's it. And I have already put my volunteer works uh, and these, all this on the chat window with my LinkedIn. A uh, lot of activity for me on LinkedIn and uh, do connect there and uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, is it that is a beautiful pitch, uh, Bharat, that's what were you asking? My ask is simple. I'm looking for a, uh, a warehouse, a forwarder who can have, uh, where I will put in some goods and ship, uh, uh, sell by B2C on Amazon for a client of mine. For Atlanta? For a client of mine. For a client of yours, okay. okay. The same client I'm handling in Hong Kong. So I know what it has to be. I'm looking for yeah. specifically a forwarder, warehouse owner who does FBA for Amazon. Brilliant. So shipping for Amazon? Yes. Warehousing and... Warehousing and shipping for yes. Amazon. From which... Uh, from uh, Dubai. Dubai, only for Dubai. We're talking about Dubai. Dubai to? Dubai to Dubai. Warehousing in Dubai. Okay, yeah. lovely. Okay, lovely. So does anyone know of any warehousing facilities in Dubai who are delivering and catering to Amazon uh, services? So Hong Kong, uh, Bharat basically is based in Hong Kong, and uh, in Bangkok. And he is the extended arm for companies. So, you know, Hong Kong being the factory for the world, he helps companies to work with companies based in Hong Kong, the global companies that want to work with companies based in Hong Kong. So he's looking for shipping and warehousing services uh, for people who are already dealing with Amazon. So he could add certain products to their warehouse. Does anyone know anyone who is into the warehousing uh, and delivering products online on Amazon in Dubai? I would normally know the big uh, resellers like, you know, distributors and stuff who do a lot. 
but I think they have their own private uh, warehouses. But I would guess there would be rentals that they do for warehousing. Not very well, uh, let us move on because I have quite a few contacts in Dubai. And if anyone, because my preference is this group, if I can pass some business here. Okay. And uh, as it is, uh, this presentation is uh, five or six slides. And I have already booked my time on the 4th April where I will be. Uh, and uh, uh, one small correction, which always I want. Um, China may be world's factory, but Hong Kong is world's financial market. We are the financial hub of uh, the Asia's world city. Uh, next to New York, this is the biggest stock exchange. And 40% of the MNCs have a base here. So that, that is a small correction. Uh, so we are extended arm for all sorts of handling out of Hong Kong. Brilliant. Um, use this in your pitch, uh, uh, Bharat, so people don't have to interpret uh, for you. Uh, if it comes right from the horse's mouth, it's the best said and the well, uh, most well said, right? So script it out for yourself so that the right things come out uh, in the right uh, spur of the moment. Excellent, brilliant. Thank you, Hong, uh, Bharat, for sharing. Um, I'll introduce myself quickly and then hand over to our speaker for the day. Uh, I'm Alicia and I lead... Uh, a company called Rooftop Sales. We are into sales training and coaching, and we target CEOs and entrepreneurs who want to, who are probably stuck, not doing enough revenue for themselves, and um, maybe COVID is not working for a lot of companies. We have seen that 2020, a lot of companies got could scrape through because they had a little backlog from 2019, but actually 2021, everybody is starting dry. And literally, there is no backlog from 2020. So the only thing they can do is getting into a go-to-market strategy and really finding different ways of getting more customers and more clients to their business. And especially Entrepreneur Connect is an initiative where we can exchange leads and references so that we can all benefit from the new connections and the new networks we can bring to get more bread and butter to our own businesses. So if anyone knows any businesses that could value new set of clients and customers for their business to get new streams of income, do connect them with me. So does anyone want to connect with me or have a reference that I could reach out to and then help them with their sales uh, pipeline and get to help them more customers? Lippi, I guess we'll be connecting more. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, uh, Riddhi. And uh, do share it with... Uh, uh, your own connections. It needs not be who needs it for your own service, uh, for your own companies and your own profile. You may want to just send it and extend it to other people as well. So maybe Definitely. Brilliant. Uh, so, uh, Anil, would you like to introduce our speaker for today? Of course. I'm so happy to do that. Thank you, Anil. Yeah. Good morning again. I have the pleasure to introduce uh, Ms. Rithi Kosh Roy originally from Bengal, living in Dubai. And uh, she's a sustainable person's brand, uh, personal brand contentant and an electrical engineer by her job and profession. Completed her business degree from Asian Institute of Technology. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Riti. You're yeah, perfectly somebody? right. Yeah. And started her career uh, as manager export for Tirthai Public Limited and um, special assignment with the Indian Institute of uh, Corporate Affairs, a business owner, an entrepreneur, and personal brand consultant. Welcome on to uh, Entrepreneurs Connect. Thank you, Priti, for coming on to our platform. Thanks, Anil. Thanks, Anil, for this opportunity. And a very good morning to all my friends here. Uh, because COVID has locked all of us up at our homes. So it's glad to meet uh, so many new friends on a Saturday morning. So uh, coming to business, I think uh, you just got a brief introduction, but uh, before I mention what is personal branding and why am I into it or what is uh, you know, the story of the business, uh, by personal branding, what I mean, I should define first. Uh, personal branding, uh, for me, it's about putting your best self out for professional reasons. So uh, you know, it was during COVID because I was more at home and I was going to LinkedIn and Instagram and different social media. And I found there were a lot of promises that we will make a brand out of you on so-and-so particular social media. Or uh, there were a lot of uh, you know offers from consultants and coaches 
who were promising image consulting and you know career counseling soft skilling so uh, i have a career i would say my professional career is about 18 to 20 years somewhere in between now so uh, initially i have uh, started my work from bangkok i was uh, placed just as anil mentioned i was with a public limited company which is a thai japanese uh, collaboration and that took me to different uh, parts of the globe as an international business development uh, general manager so it was a lot of experience of how businesses are done in different cultures and there was a specific pain point which i have been picking up for the last few years which uh, was perhaps uh, being as being a woman so uh, a lot of things were you know when i was interacting with different cultures so as an indian woman sometimes you are uh, you know criticized a bit like because we are not that organized sometimes we don't tend to uh, you know look so smart as we originally are so uh, a lot of business professionals not only as a near woman like as a indian business so a lot of comments negative positive they have been collecting and uh, after that experience in bangkok for 12 years or 15 years of job i started on my own and i was doing some financial consulting with the world bank and then i was doing some other small businesses for technology consulting because technology is another favorite area of mine because of my background so gradually all this came together and perhaps during the covid times uh, it came as a formal program which i titled as branding by riddhi and uh, this runs under my brand name riddhi roy you can go into my website brandingbyriddhi.com and what it basically does i mean why it was started our movements are very restricted these days i would not get a job now the way i had got it uh, you know earlier 10 15 years back my thailand job was a real real cool story which i will share sometime you know later how i got my job into bangkok because when we talk about bangkok a lot of people think of tourism and fun but i went into an engineering concern in a industrial zone so uh, i was physically traveling to different places ceos were coming so you know opportunities were easier but now things are restricted we cannot move so whether i am an employee or uh, i have my own business it's very difficult to you know project it or sell it across like uh, this type of platforms are very good but uh, we don't have much opportunities and if you talk about going online being on the social media uh, social media is so crowded each of us have a linkedin account each of us have an instagram account each of us are on facebook so it's very difficult to be visible and very frankly even if i'm a very smart professional in my domain it's not necessarily that i'm very good at projecting myself you know in terms of writing or making videos or making sales pitches and there are so many things you need when you are you know uh, behaving like a single person business so the purpose of branding was primarily to collect the best things in you and create as i say there are two versions of a brand a personal brand there is an offline version and an online version uh what is meant by the offline version because the online sounds more familiar actually when we talk about putting something online what do you want to put in because if you're offline your real self real brand is not strong enough or interesting enough uh we don't have much to project when we go online so basically your offline version is a very very difficult thing to create and it takes time it can be terms of uh, definitely your the way you attend a phone call the way you reply to an email the way you look on your zoom meetings so all of these counts these days because our business world has changed and that makes our personal branding all the more important because earlier we were uh, sometimes we could hide behind the computers and get our work done or if i had a lovely voice somebody would hear and be impressed 
but now i am you know analyzed and judged on overall packaging i would say and you have a great content you are a very experienced professional but somewhere somewhere they are not connected so it sounds very nice because a lot of people say that sounds very cool if i could brand myself but you know branding is looking very glamorous and branding takes time and i don't have time for it so that was another uh, you know less excuse i used to hear from a lot of my friends so the way i have designed or what has gone behind creating this program of branding is to make it totally easily accessible for entrepreneurs or professionals and uh, i am not selling something or not selling a service which is like one size fits all so it has to be a lot of you know customization and customization is not so easy i can always say that but without experience and some uh, you know foundation of things means proper use of tools or techniques you cannot give customization to a professional and especially when i'm working with different industries i have somebody who's a ceo of a technology company they are implementation partners of sap somebody down in bangkok who is a travel blogger and has a huge uh, fan base already and very recently i have taken up a case with uh, somebody who's uh, an uh, american guy but based out of china and he is into media he is already popular but he wants to grow more so there are different requirements of branding so as i mentioned that what my consulting should look like uh, a lot of inputs went into it and perhaps covid i i am particularly very happy to be locked down during last year because it gave me a lot of time to compose my program and come back so um, it should be easy to you know access it should be structured and arranged by structured and arranged i mean uh, if you look into my programs because i have some signature programs and custom build workshops as well the most comprehensive program i normally promote is called brand in action or you can in short call it bia and that comprises of three modules or 10 sessions i would say 10 sessions one session per week maximum because we want to space it out because this is not a teaching class or something so i need that person to take time to you know self uh, give their inputs from their self to create the brand because i say i am a consultant i am not going to build brand for you so i can just help you get started and you have your own system so uh, this 10 sessions will have three modules the first three sessions would be to know about you to identify what you want to do with your brand because uh, if i say i want to make a shoe brand do i want to be a bata or do i want to be a lv or do i want to be what sort of a brand what is my objective what do i want to achieve so three sessions would be taking care of that the next four sessions would be taking care of designing your brand and design means as i again mentioned if somebody needs a small image makeover somebody needs to make a career plan which i see mostly with the technology guys they don't know what is their technology career path ahead so if you want to be a brand you should know 5 years 10 years down the line how you should look like how the things are going to change and how you're going to adapt so that is a part of your brand design because you know people start branding with lot of uh, noise and you know a lot of enthusiasm but then they stop uh, you know in, a, in reinventing themselves and it starts getting boring so you should have that part and all those issues will be taken care of in your design or the four sessions the last three sessions which got maximum queries coming in i have a measurement and monitoring module which is the last three sessions and what does it mean by measuring and monitoring because as all professionals are here on the platform you understand that something which is not measured cannot be developed or cannot be you know corrected so the your brand also needs to be like you know audited and its performance need to be analyzed 
just like what you do for your company's brand or your product brands. Same with your personal brand. So there are three sessions on it where we identify, we co-create a design, what sort of parameters or how on the go you can do your brand audit and how often you should do it, what sort of signals you should look for. So it can be a sort of, uh, you know, three sessions of deliberations, discussions, and you come up with a small dashboard, which will be populated by information or inputs on a regular basis uh, automatically as you go. Like uh, when we were not, uh, you know, in the session today, my mobile, there was an app on fitness, which started saying out that I have burned zero calories in so many, so many minutes. So if there was something like that, which could give me an indication, not an app, but some form of a dashboard, which could tell me automatically from my, uh, you know, lifestyle that what am I doing as a professional brand? That would be very helpful because I think we, we are all, the most scarce resource is time for most of us. So if somebody on the go could help with our brand, that would be lovely. And whatever I do in these 10 sessions, this comes as a proper system because we use very common standard known tools. Like we might be knowing, using the SWOT analysis. The SWOT analysis, I will have at, at least seven to 10 versions of it with you. If you're in a session, it's not a simple one-time SWOT. Uh, I guess most of us are aware of what a SWOT is, is strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats for an individual or a business or anything, any situation. It's a tool and uh, there will be interview sessions. There will be objective sessions. So there will be a lot of structured uh, you know, patterns which I will hand over during these 10 uh, sessions or whatever customized uh, consultancies we have. And the best part is this will be a future guide. You don't need to come back to me if you need to reinvent your brand. You can just follow those steps and you can improvise. You can find out what is going wrong. Why are not things happening the way you want? This is on your personal level. So uh, I think that gives a lot of power to any business individual because uh, you know most of the changes which I see in the name of personal branding are very cosmetic because uh, they will do some quick fix or very generalized fix. And everybody does not have the same objective on social media. Like uh, as a, say for an Instagrammer, if I become an Instagrammer on social media and say I'm working in an auto, automotive industry, uh, making ancillaries for big companies, I might have only 25 big brands in the world who need my product. So if those 25 follow me on my social media and appreciate or you know, acknowledge me, that's good enough. I don't need 5,000 followers. But on the other hand, as a travel blogger, if I get a million hits, a million followers, I am good. So people sometimes confuse that social media means, uh, you know, likes, followers, Insta, you know, a lot of fan following. A lot of perceptions are there, which are not correct as professionals. And especially, I would say my program was designed because when I got hurt with uh, certain professional issues, people like us who are in 30s or 40s or even senior, we are a generation who have started seeing this type of a social media much later in our professional lives. So how our real life, the offline, the real version of you and the online version can be managed and you can really go ahead in your corporate world or your business world. And, uh, you know, we say shine longer for a longer time because uh, business is very ruthless these days. And Alifia rightly put in like our sales channels are drying up, contacts are poor, we cannot travel, we cannot see people. So I think a brand is something which might help. I shouldn't say might, it will help. It will help people. It will help professionals. So I think that's all I can say about personal branding for professionals. And uh, as I mentioned, I work with pan industry, pan age group, any gender. So most welcome. Any queries to get started. Thank you. Thank you, Alifia. Thank you, Ready, for that uh mind-opening talk because I think everybody has this block uh, in our mind and we don't even look at 
uh, like even in my sales world, people don't want to do marketing. And then they think the sales is going to come, right? So branding is exactly the first step for any business. If you don't have a branding for yourself and you don't think it's necessary, True. you're just going to be running for uh, small pennies and small money, right? I mean, do we all just want to be... In fact, I want office? to, sorry, I want to add in, I want to add in one more line. There is another change in the business environment. Nowadays, I have seen most people would prefer to buy from businesses with a face or they want to connect personally. Buying from big corporations for big deals is a different mindset. But majority businesses would love to connect with somebody on a personal level. So if you're a brand as a person who is exciting, I think I would love buying from you. Definitely. That's why Steve Jobs becomes the brand in front of Apple and Bill Gates True. becomes the brand for uh, you know, Microsoft. So we can learn from Tata. Of course, Tata's as well. And they branded the company on their own uh, name as well. So there are different strategies where uh, the personal <laughs> brand becomes the name of the company or then, you know, uh, there, there's so many strategies and something that no, none of us should take uh, lightly, to be honest. Uh, so does anyone want to connect with uh, Riddhi for her uh, three uh, for her program on branding? Or think anyone in your networks or other companies would benefit from uh, uh, services from her? Or does anyone have any questions that you want to ask her from her presentation? Any questions or, yeah, Bharat, go ahead. Fully agree with her. I've, I've been hiring a brand consultant for almost a year now. And as she said, the, we, we do face uh, similar problems and the budgets are big concerns there. Anyway, I would like to have a one-to-one -one with you. And, uh, Most welcome. There, there might be some uh, openings which I might recommend or we can discuss. Definitely. Thank you. If nothing else, I would need some pro bono advice. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I think, uh, Riti, even I would love to uh, connect with you. I think there's a lot of uh, collaboration opportunity that we could work on together. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Um, okay, great. Uh, does anyone have any more uh, questions about branding? We all need to become, think, start thinking like the Starbucks and Costa and pay at least, uh, what is it, 20 times more than a normal coffee <laughs> that you can get on the street? Absolutely. Or even free when you get it at home, right? But why do we <laughs> actually not do any of that and go to a Starbucks and, uh, you know, and pay 25 for the same coffee that you can get for two or three on the street? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, brilliant. Any questions for Nidhi? Oh. Okay, quickly. So what I'll do is I'll um, go through the, the sharing today. And uh, next, what we can have is a challenge session. If anyone's facing a certain challenge in your businesses that you want to brainstorm within the group, and we will all give you inputs and ideas about maybe what else you could apply or maybe what they've tried in their own lives or maybe what they've seen someone else doing or what could be options or solutions or resolutions that you could apply to overcome that challenge. So I'll allow you all to think if any of you want to volunteer to have a business uh, challenge that you want to brainstorm on. So even if you're just an employee, you still may want to think about how you can do something differently or well, the market is so bad. What can you do different to reach out? What has worked and what did not work? And if something did not work, do you want to discuss brainstorm or use our platform as an opportunity to do, uh, you know, discuss that challenge? Uh, so we will invite you. But just before that, I'm going to now summarize all the asks for today. And in the meanwhile, do come up if you want to volunteer. If not, we will uh, uh, volunteer someone uh, otherwise. So quickly, we started with Vijayan Kuti. He is an ISO certification quality assurance expert. He also does trainings and he does consulting uh, to improve your food safety or quality assurances. He likes to connect with C-levels, the business owners of companies who would, uh, you know, use this to brand themselves or position themselves higher and, you know, uh, have more trust from the customers that deal with that company when you have these sort of certifications. Uh, we have Samir and uh, Anil, who is going to connect with Vijayan Kuti. Vijayan Kuti, make sure you are the one who reaches out 
to them as they have volunteered their help and they've offered their help, but it's your responsibility to make sure you reach out to them and uh, get the right connects and contacts that they want to share with you so that you can contact them. Uh, next, we had Riyaz Mohammed. He's a medical device uh, specialist. I mean, he's in the medical device industry and uh, he has products for heart failure for patients. He's into sales, working with them, and he's upping his skill set to become the next entrepreneur from, Luck, uh, from India, right? So welcome, uh, Riyaz, and thank you for joining us every week. We hope we keep giving and adding value to your, uh, to your entire learning experience that you're into uh, developing right now. Uh, we had Anil Thomas, who is uh, the Brain City uh, online education platform. He offered a masterclass, which is happening tonight at 7 p.m., into writing content, publishing, or if anyone wants to write a book. Uh, Ribi, Riyaz, and Bharat are going to connect with him to get access to that uh, speaker and his expertise. We had Samir <laughs> from Dubai. He has a global limousine company um, in Dubai, London, and Riyadh. He's looking out for travel agents or event companies or multinational corporates um, and all the personal assistance in these companies so that they can uh, have limousine services for their own companies or their own employees or for their clients. So if anyone has contacts in travel agents or event companies, do let them connect with Samir. Samir, I hope you have joined uh, the WhatsApp group of Entrepreneur Connect. Do send in your profile in there. A little bit of visuals, a little bit of pictures helps people to understand what to do better. So we recommend you to join the Entrepreneur Connect WhatsApp group. Uh, Anil, if you can put that into the chat one more time. Uh, yeah, Jay yeah. Gupta uh, was is from Lung, L Lucknow, from India, and he's into electrical, health and electric, which has some solutions for IT. Uh, it's a German company. And um, he's looking for, he's joining us and looking forward to learn and improve his pitch for next week. But do join us every Saturday at 7.30. Murugisa is our, um, he's a very senior mechanical engineer. He's a secretary to a lot of uh, associations and mechanical engineering foundations in India. And thank you, sir, for joining us and keep, uh, anyone needs to understand or learn more from his experience, he's here to offer his services and his help to help you guys in your journey. So it's a great uh, opportunity to connect with him. Uh, he's on our WhatsApp group as well. Um, we had Nayana from Brain City. Uh, they have a young mastermind for children from 7 to 20 years. Uh, it's uh, packed with a 30-day foundation. You can have more skills with a six, six months and a one year. So this is starting from the 1st of April. So if any of you have children or know people who have children, you should allow, uh, join for the introduction sessions that they do for free and get your kids enrolled into this uh, program from the 1st of April. Um, Taki is our frozen foods expert, but he was in the sleep mode today. Uh, Bharat is our Hong Kong's uh, financial market. The, Hong Kong is the world's financial market, right? With 40% of MNCs out there. So he's our expert. He's an extended arm in um, Hong Kong. He's looking for warehousing uh, for companies that is supplying to Amazon. So in Dubai, especially in the Middle East, he's looking for warehousing facilities for any company that is um, warehousing for delivering online to Amazon. So if you have any companies that are currently using warehouse spaces, please do connect them with Bharat uh, so that he can benefit. I think Riddhi is going to contact with you, Bharat. Um, and Riddhi is our branding specialist. She has inspired us and given us mind open the on a lot of tips and tricks that we need to necessarily not ignore or not overlook with branding. And do connect with her if you like uh, to join for any of her programs. I think me and Bharat is going to connect with her. So that's a quick summary of uh, everything that we've done. We've got about 15 minutes and we have this opportunity to discuss a business challenge. If anybody has a particular business challenge, we can all use it. Just raise your challenge in two to three minutes and maybe we can use five or 10 minutes to discuss on get ideas from the group. Does anyone want to discuss their business challenge? I had put on I chat, have... I want to. 
Okay. Is there anyone else who wants to volunteer for, and then we can have a vote in terms of which business? Do we, anybody else other than Bharat? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Jay? Jay. Okay. Yeah. Baba link is to join. Okay. Entrepreneur Connect. Okay, fine. Um, who else? Uh, anybody else? So we have Jay and we have Bharat. So if we can, we have 10 minutes. So let's see if we can. Uh, since Bharat said first, let's have Bharat uh, starting off. Bharat, let's try and use five minutes so we can maybe give some time to Jay as well. Okay. Night is against for me uh, telling you the challenge. Kyadu is a gifting consultancy, which is AI deep tech based, trying to curate gifts for the receiver. Most of the time we find gifts uh, ourselves and think what we the other person needs. So here it is the reverse. We are trying to read into the mind and uh, go through the profiling of the candidate who is receiving the gift. So gifts are for all, everything is a gift and each gift has a purpose. We want to ensure the purpose of the gift is met and by, and we do that by AI and deep tech. Now everything is in place. We have our uh, RFQ, we have been talking to hundreds of people, design thinking, blah, blah, blah. So all set. The biggest challenge is I am not able to start the revenue. We have 1,500 followers on Facebook. We have 500, uh, sorry, 500 on Facebook, 1,500 on Instagram. And uh, our first POC market is Hong Kong. Uh, we have tried to reach out to vendors with specific gates. Initially, we started with the concept of having affiliation uh, links from Amazon or Alibaba. So because there are hundreds and thousands and millions of gifts worldwide, and uh, anyone wanting to select one gift, I don't know what color you like. I have met uh, Riti for the first time. Tomorrow I'm going to meet her for a one-to-one. -one. I want to take a small gift for her. I don't know what she will like. So uh, this is a very simple case study here. So how to read into Riti's mind to make sure uh, even the 10 rupee thing or a, uh, and I say gift is not only a physical material thing. It is a, uh, it can be advice. It can be your time, whatever. So having said that, uh, we had a book, a lot of uh, gift consultancy. We gave a, a, a book a slot for free gift consultancy in December. Challenges to start the revenue and my sales coach has been after my head. Uh, get the numbers down. If your numbers are near, not there, we will die. So this is the challenge. Brilliant. I think it's a very interesting uh, uh, industry. Uh, I think he's disrupting the gifting industry. So he's got, it's an online gifting. It's completely Perfect. online, right? Completely. But what about using artificial intelligence when you are uh, choosing these gifts? Because, you know, nowadays, whenever we are surfing something on Amazon or any social, uh, I mean, online uh, buying platforms, uh, next time we go in, they start suggesting something which we have purchased before. Really? They are suggesting to you. Yeah, you are you are looking for a book for a third person. We need suggestion for what he would like. So there's a case study. Amazon has a wish right. list in America. Asians don't like that putting their wish list. True. So True. we are making our predictive wish list. Uh, okay. And uh, the challenge is not on making a predictive list. I have case studies where people have done uh, uh, used AI for multiple things. I have studied it in deep. I understand the subject very well. My challenge is not this. My challenge is how to uh, I want to start the revenue. I want to do a POC. I am struck. You see my website. You uh, Maybe we can take this challenge next time. Uh, in the next meeting, we can give Jay a chance because it's a very deep subject to go into. And uh, uh, anyone wants to do a one-to-one -one who can value add and contribute, please shout out to me and I'm looking for that. That is why I said... Uh, branding is one part, marketing is another part. We have, I understand that and I have done everything right. But where do I get the inventory moving? You know, where do I get the first clients to? Uh, I want 50 clients. I don't want 100,000 clients. I got 50 clients buying 100 dirhams each. Uh, this is my target for the first month. And this target was made in November and sitting in March, I'm still stuck. Zero revenue. Okay. So uh, let me summarize the problem here. Uh, he's got an online gifting uh, platform and you're catering only to Hong Kong, uh, Bharat? Oh, it's open to anyone, but yes. All but over the world? Yeah, but we will like to because for 
for logistics sake we will prefer hong kong or uh, even dubai is also okay for us okay so first i think you should be clear about exactly what your uh, area uh, and our your... market was dubai hong kong but since everyone here is from dubai you know and okay. uh, dubai also is tax free it's very easy to ship so uh, maybe dubai but okay brilliant so hong kong and dubai is this market for online gifting and um, so and his biggest challenge is he's on social media but he's not getting conversions so does anyone have any questions for him or want to brainstorm with him uh, bharat do you want to tell us a quick about your sales strategy what your uh, so you have followers on insta and facebook that you said but yes, what's your yes. sales strategy how are you asking for the deal oh we are putting products there and all these products are uh, uh, taken out from uh, amazon uh, the they have affiliate links we have tied up with amazon team all and blah 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 all the e-commerce websites so we will be taking their gifts and putting up them on so our business model is very simple uh, the the basic gifting you know is free of charge you, anyone can go and we can give a recommendation uh, but if it is a one to one recommendation uh, uh, because the ai engine is only on poc stage today so uh, again i said that it's a big challenge ghoda pehle ke ghas pehle something like that okay does anyone have any ideas for uh, bharat or uh, from the group any suggestions from anyone come on guys online gifting we all buying online now much more than ever have you created your own website or something the website That is there the social media everything is there okay okay have you contacted to any organization and a promotion type of activities or have you tried for the street pro, uh, like a street uh, presentation something we have nearby office we have the we have the deck ready we have already got a person on board uh, pushing the marketing and uh, branding activities so we have a lot of post coming on to our the website is kyadu.com kyadu is what to give kyadu indian kyadu and we related with baidu baidu is a chinese search engine so kyadu would be a search engine and uh, uh, fortunately germany also has a uh, kyadu the word is also gifts uh, a similar uh, sounding word in germany also huh? in french i think sorry. it's a brilliant uh, i think it's a brilliant uh, uh, niche in terms of you know going online for only gifts because i feel that's one of the best uh, positioning you could pick in the market because normally everybody goes for everything online and stuff but you're going only for like if and i like the way your website is it's talking about budget it's talking about age it's talking about uh, occasion so it's been very well thought through um, but how how often are your social media ads on campaigns uh, run oh is con continuous every day we do that we are trying to cut it down uh, to have more engagements actually uh -huh. uh, if you study the zomato case study where zomato the food engine started to sell uh, mm -hmm. to uh, one year they built a food eating community talking about food what type of food and then they started delivery you know similarly we want people to engage on our post it is happening the other way around we are posting stuff and in fact we have a big debate going on in with my team i have told them clearly i don't want a post a day i want two post a week but i want to see lot of people talking there which is not happening so maybe all of you can go and share your gifting ideas what challenge you face uh, in fact uh, uh, one of my mentor has told me bharat please raise a campaign um, a, a short campaign and give a gift so that my community is flourishing you know lot of people are there talking about gifts so uh, these are a uh, lot of ideas are there and i ideate a lot on, on various forums and uh, uh, would love to hear from because this is a entrepreneur for for sure awesome. and i have already uh, last last meeting i was asking for a co-founder or a co-investor so that i can have, have at least a team of 5 10 people you know hong kong government uh, does give a lot of subsidy and support but that first 50 uh, clients have to be there so a little struggling on that i have talked to a lot of corporate gifters hariharan introduced me to some uh, many others i know but uh, from india they will say okay uh, i will give you everything tomorrow and then they don't turn up again so 
Uh, anyway, uh, this is a long subject, and I'm looking for help, and I won't like to trouble you all here. Uh, please give me a one-to-one -one feedback on this, wherever, or if you think it, uh, you have a short suggestion or something which can be useful here, uh, please do. Uh, if anyone wants to give suggestions or feedback, can also type in the chat, because if we all try to speak, we may not have enough time. But if you think, if you're coming with ideas, and if you think uh, Bharat could uh, benefit from any ideas, feel free to just put them into the chat. But if you want to speak up, you can also speak up. Yeah, this is a great challenge, uh, Alifia, because even we got the advice from our marketers, it's the same. We post a lot of posters in our groups. But at the same time, we said, don't post it, but engage. So this is a, it's a challenge even for us in city as well. Yeah. So what I would say is, uh, uh, Kyadu, what I see from your website, Bharat, Bharat, are you with us? Is oh, you could yeah, have I'm a right. tagline. You could have a tagline, if you like, uh, to the name, because it's a very regional meaning where maybe Indians would understand, but not maybe everybody uh, understands. It's not something that people will search. So SEO is something I think uh, I don't see on your website. Uh, especially one thing I have seen from my own experience is if it's an online strategy, then it's an online strategy. Are you doing paid ads or are you just posting? Uh, see, my first challenge is to get inventory moving. Even 50 people. Uh, I don't want to go into, uh, if my POC is not done, I don't want to pay anything. In that. Okay. So this is the thing, right? And I think uh, Riddhi could uh, add but in. Right? Uh, there is a lot of difference between posting and putting ads. Because posting is only going to your network. And if your network had to buy, they would have bought anyway. But we always assume that our network is our ideal customer. But your, whatever you will post is your existing connections and your existing mm -hmm. network. So how Facebook and Insta works is when you put in post ads. So when you put in post ads, you get a chance to choose your ideal customer profile, who is going to be the one. So ideally for Kyadu sort of a product, it would be someone who's getting a birthday nearby or someone who's having an anniversary. Ideally, anniversaries are better than birthdays because for your own birthday, you may, may not buy. So even if I'm the person and my showing that my birthday is coming in March, but I may not buy a gift for myself, but anniversary definitely has a much higher chance because True. there's always a little bit of guilt and there's always a little <laughs> bit of mask in it. And there's always a little bit of, uh, you know, last anniversary didn't get and this anniversary, you know. Making an impression. Yeah. So psychologically, you could have ads that run with saying whose anniversary is coming now or who's just getting married or who's engaged or thinking, because, you know, normally an engagement is when people are gifting more. Once they get married, they don't gift as much. Psychological, but unless you put some money on the table, marketing always comes before sales. Uh, uh, this is the biggest of, uh, mistake people make, you know, they think posting, even for Brain City, Anil, I'm not sure. Are you uh, spending uh, marketing advertisements on your social media or are you just posting? No, no, no. Now we started the paid ads. Yeah. So we it's started. only when you have paid ads. That anyway, Alifia, Alifia, I will tell you one uh, uh, few things on what you said, because first, thank you. That tagline is a brilliant idea. We should use it. That is one good take from that. On the second one, uh, I will not agree on the paid because if I spend money and I get a customer, if I don't have inventory to sell, if I don't have, then it is all waste. So my struggle is at a different angle. My struggle is how to get real inventory put there and which would be beneficial. Now I am trying out various things. I have contacted with some uh, jewelry guy and some uh, gift shops and Archie's and all those things. Uh, it is taking a lot of time. And I am looking to have a co-partner who will ideate with me. I mean, money is not important. The most important is someone, uh, one and one is 11, not two. And uh, it's one, one, one. I want two. That means 111. And Are you anyone... saying you don't have inventory on your website? Oh, we, we have only system. Amazon. We, we only have Amazon inventory. Okay. So it's That's not a, a different uh, topic of discussion. I think that's normally ideally what these companies do. They do back-to-back -back 
Uh, so yes. it's just a platform where you have your stuff, but everything ordered is always a back-to-back -back arrangement where your terms of yes. conditions would normally say this will be delivered within two weeks or one week mm -hmm. or next day or one hour or whatever. So that's your back-to-back -back arrangement. Normally, nobody should have invested inventory for an online uh, listing. You should always correct, have that. Correct. And when we're talking it's about gifts, gifts is everything. So it's millions and millions of products. Of course. That's when you can get the scale and stuff like that. But typically, um, great. Uh, again, when people search is on Google, not on Facebook and Insta. So one more tip I would give you is because it's an online product, because it's not a physical store, because it's not a traditional industry, nobody searches on Facebook or Insta. If you want something, you will always go on Google. So you may want to look at your SEO. You may want to look at your... Uh, Google AdWords, your keywords, and things like that. Because if I want to search for gifts, I'm going to search on google.com and on Perfect. YouTube a little bit Perfect. if I want. Perfect. So those are the areas you may want to look at. Perfect. Two good Any takes from here. Two, two good takes. Tagline, uh, Google. Uh, again, Google is YouTube also. And Jay okay. has suggested a tagline for you. Give happiness to your loved ones. So. Thanks, Jay, for that. I love it too. Where's he gone? Keeps on. Okay. Um, any more suggestions for Barak? We're already at 9.03. We can Thanks, Jay. In two, three minutes. Okay, lovely. So it seems like we're good. I hope uh, Barak, you found some value. Barak, any comments on uh, we hope you uh, no, it will, it will, uh, I mean, I'm going to be here and you people are going to be here. You're uh, or definitely adding value. Definitely adding value. We're looking forward to have all of us keep coming back every Saturday. Do share <laughs> with your networks and contacts. Uh, it's a free BNI platform, if you will. And you don't need to pay anything, but we can just get our uh, friends and uh, other businesses that probably are not getting enough contacts and references for their business. Just bring your friends and even if you're just an employee, you still need to start looking at how your existing employer can get more revenue and more customers uh, for their business. You can even just take that reference and give it to your salesperson if you're not a salesperson already. But let's exchange and share with our communities and our network. Let's at least make it a point to bring at least one or two people more every Saturday and we will all benefit from it. It's a give and take industry that we're in. Great. Any uh, Anil, anything from you? No, no, thanks. Everything's all right. All good, yeah. Do copy whatever you want from the chat uh, box here, but I would uh, recommend do uh, put everything you want on the Entrepreneur Connect uh, group because that's more permanent and people who didn't uh, make it today will uh, be there on that group as well. So put whatever you want. Make sure everybody's on the Entrepreneur Connect uh, guest uh, members WhatsApp group. And uh, we'll see you all next Saturday. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Ruthie. Thank you, Alifia. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you all. See you next week. We all come back next week. Thank you. Hope you found value. Thank you, Murugi sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ruthie, you'll be part of our team, right? So yeah, uh, we, we, expect you, we expect you to be here with us next week as well. Definitely, I'll join it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. See y'all. Bye. Bye-bye.